This is what happened when Construction Academy students from Leesburg High School came together with Habitat for Humanity of Lake and Sumter County, construction professionals, and the city of Leesburg for one extraordinary hands-on experience. Together, they built a dream home for one well-deserving family. This is Habitat Academy. I'm Don McGurter from Romac Building Supply and welcome to the finale of Habitat Academy Season 2. We're outside Leesburg High School, the home of the Construction Academy Dream Team. In this special episode, we're giving some of the students a chance to reflect on their very unique experiences and learn more about their future plans. It's time to dive right in with instructor Brian Russ. Thank you so much, Don, and welcome to the After Show. Uh, my name is Brian Russ, and I am the Leesburg High School Construction Academy teacher. And today I'm here with five members of the Dream Team. There are 15 members of the Dream Team, and these five today were chosen to represent the rest as best they can, as well as themselves. So welcome out, you guys. This is William. William the Mullet Tucker. Show us your mullet, William. Beautiful. Krista Hammer Time Cuevas, because she never misses. Jacob High Roller Moore, because he's kind of a high roller. Josh Star Lord Cheney. Last but not least, we have William Pinky Martin, because, well, So first of all, congratulations. Give yourselves a little pop. A little pop for that. The house building thing you did there. You know, so you guys did a very very good job. It was awesome. Um, and you deserve a round of applause. It's not every, not every high school student has built a whole house. You know, that's a big deal. When you started the dream team, but we hadn't been to the house yet, yeah. okay? What you, you have in your mind what it's kind of go like, right? You know, you, you kind of have in your mind what it's going to be like. Was it what you thought? And if not, how so? Besides like Mr. Barry being out there from before I joined, I had thought, okay, we'll have like a team out there to help us and show us. But then when I got out there for the first day, it was just us, some volunteers and Mr. Barry. So how'd that make you feel? Was it a confidence boost or were you yeah. like, oh crap, it's just us. A little bit of and both. This guy. Because before meeting Mr. Barry, I didn't realize that he knew that much. And then when we figured out what he knew, it just amazed us. Yeah, there's nothing he doesn't know about build one of those houses. Confidence boost because he taught us a lot and then you and him together taught us like a handful and more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Barry's definitely the, the man at the job site. What was the most difficult part of the process? Jacob, you've done this twice. Kind of this year it was getting used to everybody new. Well, last year it was, we waited like a month for, we got a teacher, got everything filled out and then we went and we were all kind of all knew each other well and knew how each other worked. This year it was kind of like, I didn't know what Josh was gonna do. I didn't know what Pinky was gonna do. I didn't know what Krista was gonna do or Will. And then once after like a week or so at the house, it kind of like reassured me like, okay, mm -hmm. we got it. Do you guys ever argue? Yes. Yeah. Really? Josh, like the, the arguing, isn't that bad? Not necessarily. It's, what it's do you mean? Just what part do you mean? Of the process. I mean, fighting is not cool, right? I mean, yeah. But nobody fought. We argued. Okay, you argued. Don't so the, 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 the contention, <laughs> the conflict, that's bad, right? No, not necessarily. Explain that. It's, it's all part of the process. It's something that's necessary. It's nice to avoid it, but it happens and you need to work through it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Through this process, do you feel like you're better at working through conflict? as you've been part of a team and had to work on a common goal, but you're all different. Has that helped you with conflict and, and how? Yes. Yes. It has. And how? It's kind of, it teaches you how to work through problems with other people and it doesn't just give you a uh, perspective on your own opinion. I mean, you're gonna have somebody else's opinion, your opinion, 
and then another person will join in and discuss those same topics with you and maybe somebody is right, somebody is wrong. It's not just someone fighting for power. What have you learned about leadership and working with others, Pinky? That you just need to slow down before you get into the state of mind. Uh, it's just go, 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 because say you don't listen to anyone, then eventually down the road that could lead to bigger problems. Mm -hmm. So take the time to listen. Yes. You know, um, you're, all, you're all leaders. That's why you're on the dream team. So what did you find the most, uh, your favorite part of the process? I liked framing. It was, framing. Yeah, it was framing. just fun. It's I just love that framing. easy, quick, and it's kind of fun. I think it was a general consensus that framing was the best part of the house building. Nice. Good. This is a primarily a carpentry program. That's good to hear. I think trusses. <laughs> trusses. They were the hardest and everybody had to work together. Mm, that's true. No matter what it was, you had to be on the same mindset mm -hmm. and you learned from others, even if you were doing it wrong. Yeah, everyone, everyone was carrying that, that, those big beams. You had to, you had to depend on other. your teammates with yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that one right there, I think everybody learned the most. Because mm -hmm. if the person in the front didn't know what the person in the back was doing, you could have hit someone or hit a wall. Mm -hmm. and drag them over. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they can't go fast, you can. You got to remember, I can only go as fast as the slowest person on this. Trust. You're, you're, I never think about that, Chris. That's interesting insight about how that was, the, that and putting up the walls together. There were certain times where it required everyone at one time to do the same thing. Interesting. Thank you. So what was the most difficult part? the process. I think there's two different standings between what was the most difficult and what people didn't like the most. Didn't like Explain was that. The I, I feel like, it, like didn't yeah. like no one really was excited to do flooring. That oh, became I, pretty I, prominent. I love flooring was super guys, guys, easy. I'm a flooring contract. You said that right in front of me. Flooring is fun. I, I hurt my soul that Floor, you didn't like flooring? The flooring was oh, easy. Oh, it was great. <laughs> but when you got in the corners and whatnot, it became a very meticulous process. No, which I is actually it. what slowed I love about it. Which is actually what I love like about it. It slowed down. It wasn't necessarily like framing where it's okay, we have put up a wall today. It's We built a corner today. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Josh? For me, I'd say trusses because I, I was one of the ones carrying it, right? And mm -hmm. once we started to flip it up at, at like halfway, I couldn't reach it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. The reason you're called Star Lord, as as the viewers don't know this, is that you know, you're you're a small human, powerful. I mean, you're a, you're a competitive power lifter, but you have a weight class, right? So that's how you compete. But uh, you you don't have like some I'm a I'm a short guy complex, which is really cool about you, you know. But Star Lord, they said they kept him around. That Yandu, whatever the the gang he hung out with, said they only kept him around because he was little and he could get into tight spaces and steal stuff. So we just called him Star Lord because. That's like a cool thing to call someone who's short, right? It's like instead of shorty or something. So I'll always, yours one of my favorite nicknames is yours, man. You get the favorite nickname award. Sorry, everybody. He's the favorite. How soon into the process did you realize, man, I really like construction? First day. First day. First day. How about before? My freshman year when I had this class, I came in here and kind of just looked around. I was like, oh, this can be really cool. Mm -hmm. Then we started working and we built picnic tables and out of the first picnic table, I was like, this is fun. After the fifth, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Now, some of you guys have more experience than others when we started. You know, Tucker came from a construction background. You had contractors in your family. You know, um, uh, others had not much experience or as much. Some had zero. Um, how, did, uh, your, how did the rest of the team kind of help you? Uh, if you were one who was like, this is all new to me. When I first walked in and just the littlest question I had, I could ask anyone and they would answer it for me. Mm -hmm. No one was like, leave me alone. Yeah, you, the, none of them were like, oh, you should have known this, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? You know everything. No, well, I do it. not. No, I do not. You don't. You're right. You're a humble guy pick up as much stuff as I possibly can, even though I still have flaws. Mm -hmm. I still ask people for what I need help with. Mm -hmm. I can remember when we were building picnic tables and stuff. Josh, we need to give him a bell because he just walked right by you. And I'll say, hey, uh, do you know? <laughs> Josh. Yeah. <laughs> say something first. Yeah. He's really quiet. Like, he'd be like, he'd say something, he'd be like, ah, like, you didn't know he was there. Like, but he was observing. He was, he was probably looking and looking what you're doing first and didn't want to bother you, but. 
you don't have problems asking questions. I don't think anyone here has is the is the I don't want to ask a question part, right? I've tried to make sure. The, all, the, all my... the bad thing was he'd ask me a question that was above my skill level, <laughs> and I couldn't answer it. Yeah, it's like, hmm. Dude, but I love that. Like, don't you love it when somebody asks you a question and then you don't know the answer? Because you're like, oh, we're both going to figure that out. On that note, what has been the most personal impact? The most personal impact. Think about the question now. Not just the thing that had the biggest impact. Would this house, um, Habitat, kind of made two people get houses? Because mm -hmm. before we built the house there, you know how my aunt lived there when mm -hmm. it burnt down. Uh, well, she had like they started. Someone started GoFundMe for her on like Facebook, and they raised like thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Well, she was looking at this other house to buy, and it was forty four thousand. So Habitat came to her and bought that property off of her for fourteen thousand, so she could buy that house. No, I didn't know that. I knew there was a history there. I didn't know that detail. That's cool. And so they they bought it for her for that much, so she could buy that house, mm -hmm. and then they could start building for another person. So really, mm -hmm. there was two houses that came possible because of Habitat. Yeah, that's awesome. Getting to know the volunteers and Mr. Barry. Really, why, were, is that, why was that a personal impact on you? Because even though they were there to basically teach all the kids, he would take it into his heart and the volunteers to teach us more details or even the sideways you could do it or hey, this is easier. He took his precious time and his caring to do that, even though he knew he didn't have to. Same mm -hmm. thing with the volunteers, every single one of them that showed up, the ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Barry, um, it's a big thing for him to learn your names. Well, he doesn't like it when he gets it wrong, which is easy to do, because there's yeah, you guys are everywhere. But like, he he's really big on remembering your name and calling you by your name. I, for him, that's just like an important thing to be close to. Look, he's the real deal, am I right? Yes, I mean, Mr. Barry is. Uh, yeah, uh, it, he would get embarrassed if we were praising him at all, but he deserves it. And every time I see him, he asks me how's baseball going and... Yeah, stuff that doesn't even have to do with the bill. Yeah. He knows yeah. about your life. He cared about a lot more than just the house. Yep, yep. He had a higher purpose, and I encourage all you guys, whatever you do in life, um, find some purpose that, in doing it that's, that's, bigger, that's more important than yourself to you. So you built a house. I mean, you did, that's what you did. People like humans are gonna live in the house that you built, like you put it together. You know, like there's a house kit and you put it together without really instructions even, you know what I mean? So you don't look at the blueprints, it was just say, here's what we do. So in doing so, you provided a home for other people. Those humans I was talking about, they're gonna live in there. Um, has, that, has that sunk in? Do you get that yet? I mean, it kind of, Kind of sunk in at the uh, dedication. Mm -hmm. When I like handed them the keys, it was like, oh, like, welcome home. This is theirs now. Yeah. yeah. If now if I come, I'm trespassing. Yep. <laughs> at one time, um, Jessica asked uh, Danielle, you know, Jessica's the owner of the house now, asked Danielle, ooh, can I go inside with her? And it hit me when Danielle goes, it's your house. And she even, even Jessica was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. You know, I went in. You know? So it's like, that really was the hand passing off of the, of the torch, you know what I mean? So um, has, it hit, has it hit you, Josh? I realize that it's like a huge deal and that like when, when I think about it, you know, it's impactful. But I still don't feel like I fully comprehend. Well, it's not it going means. away. Think about this. You ever going to go by there again? Mm -hmm. How long is that house going to be there? Forever. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully longer than you. I mean, we you yeah. built it to last that long. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So think about that. Just knowing eventually you could take your own kids if you're going to have some. Mm -hmm. Go back and be like, I built that house when I was in high school. Yep. Built that. Built that. Um, but that's not all you've done on the Dream Team. I mean, there are two days a week we weren't even at the house. We were here at the shop. And then there's time before. And, and like now the house is done, but there's still a month left. What other things um, have you gotten to experience as part of the Dream Team? The what building the tables for other schools and for our school, even though those other schools might have construction academies or not, they seen our work and they mm -hmm. wanted to get them from us and we gave them our <laughs> special design tables. Mm -hmm. So wait, you guys built the tables, but you also, you said your special design. What do you mean by that? 
we designed it. The dream team got together one day and like designed what we wanted the mm -hmm. tables to look like, how much we wanted to sell them for, and all this. So what other things have you done? Sleeping Heavenly Peace? Working with Sleeping Heavenly Peace, making beds for kids, knowing that they're gonna be able to sleep comfortable at night. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to sleep on the ground, on a couch, they'll be able to get into their bed and know that they're safe. Nice. Pinky, we know how you felt. How do you, how do you guys feel? I thought it was pretty good because knowing the team we had, we flew through them beds. Yeah. Like it was yeah, nothing. Man. And yeah. the fact that looking at the truck, it was empty. And then our class coming in and then looking at the, tr the truck and it was full. And I'm yep. just like, we did that. <laughs> yeah. You guys um, really do, you knew how to produce. I mean, that's for sure. Um, the guys, the all the volunteers were blown away. They were like, we didn't think we were going to get done. We, they had third period. They helped had them to slow down and stop early so that fourth period would have something to do. To make a couple. <laughs> yeah, so you guys have been through that. It's really interesting to hear how other schools compared to our school. You know, we're always told to be great, like you say, always quality work. But to hear it from somebody else and say that we do quality work and that we produce and that it's not something we slack off in and it's not like we're just, it's just a joke, it is a heartwarming feeling to know that, you know, even though it is a school, you are producing for somebody else and not your own benefit. Yep, you guys don't just talk, that's for sure. You guys back up what you say. Okay, superlatives. So you know how they do in the, the, the yearbook, it's like most likely to succeed and all that kind of stuff right there. I think you're all gonna succeed. So. Who do you think is most likely on the whole team to be uh, to own their own construction company? Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Why Bigfoot? Um, Bigfoot just has a lot of potential. He came in through the middle ending of the dream house. He told me, he goes, I know nothing about mm -hmm. this. And I'm like, it's okay. And now close to the end, he was working with us, knowing a lot of things mm -hmm. just but from our teamwork one day we're sitting out there and you were here you're doing something in the shop and he walks in and goes hey can i go nail some nails yep. he's like That's can i go put some nails on the board and he's and you're like yeah and i'm like why, why are you doing it he goes i, I don't know, i just want to practice to get better yep that boy never do that stops, does he? Uh -uh. it's in the hallway right now you can talk to him it probably is yeah we get him in here all right so bigfoot most likely to own his own construction company he's big brain and he's just adding skills to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just adding, you know, the hands-on part, you know? So, yeah, that's that's good. I honestly didn't know even know what, what to expect. I hadn't thought about which one. I just figured anyone who wanted you could be. But it, that's interesting to see that you guys all kind of unanimously were like Bigfoot. Like so let me ask you this. <laughs> Who's the biggest prankster? You. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> you. What pranks have I pulled on anybody? Gavin and Stack. Them yeah. Two. Most <laughs> little connivers, man. Yeah, <laughs> they, those two. They know what they're doing, and they they do like the work. They t they learn mm -hmm. from it. Yep. But goofballs off the chart. <laughs> Got it. Who is most likely to get like freaking dirty on the job site? Josh. Josh. I was yeah. gonna say Chris though. <laughs> cool. Remember Josh when we were Chris doing the stuff? cement? These both stuck yeah. her hands. Really? Oh yeah, thing, you're so. an animal. You're an animal. Like we were, we were for those of you who weren't there, we were pouring cement and the pot on the potholes out here, and it was like, come on, get it out of there. Crystal, like, just she still got a long out. sleeve on. She's got a long hoodie. She reaches in there. I mean, had to like climb on top, reach around the, the big cement mixer, and she's like, had a white. She had a white. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had almost. Yeah. All it was a nice day. It yeah. was like, it was like, I'm gonna get it done. Mm -hmm. Period. I don't have time to be all like, eh. it's like, it has it done, boom, get it. You know what I mean? Who's most likely to hold up the bus? I don't it all depends Gavin. on if we're leaving, like leaving the school or coming back from leaving yeah, the which house. One? Leaving the school, holding up the bus, leaving the school would be Gavin. Most definitely. Leaving Twice. from the house back to the school, I don't know. I think it's all of us, honestly, because at nope, the nope. end of it, we're literally, you have to yell at us to stop working. Mm. Well, somebody then, does. It's true. always it's always Pinky because Pinky has the time because you always forget. There's always so Pinky will have the time. No, no, like, Yo, Jacob, we gotta go. I don't forget. I just don't pay attention because I know Pinky's going to. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's. Going I'm like to. one less thing to worry about. He's got it. All right. 
talk about what you're doing this summer, who you're working for and what you'll be doing this summer. Go. Work with my dad down at Tucker's Machine and Steel, taking a SolidWorks class over a week. So I can SolidWorks, work. that's like a 3D modeling program? Yes, sir. Okay. Taking that class so I can get on the computer and start making sketches and working on stuff with them. So you're going to be working with your, your fam the family business? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Krista? I am going to be working with Kelly's paintings this summer. And not just for the summer, I'm going to take it off into a career. And she's going to put me a little farther than I expected. And I'm very, very excited for it. Eventually, further on to my life, I want to end up owning my own business. And nice. not working for other people, but people working for me. And I'm helping them. Like, <laughs> y'all help me. Mm, awesome. Jacobo. I'm working for Ross Plumbing. As Ross a plumber plum. helper. Plumber helper? What do you so what does a plumber helper do? Grabs tools pretty much. <laughs> a gopher. <laughs> Digs go ditches. for this, go for that. Dig ditches and mm -hmm. they'll they'll learn I know they're lot. gonna have you a lot more hands hands on than that. Yeah. You're gonna be doing more than getting things for people. Yeah. They they want they'll throw you right in the mix. I wasn't old enough to apply for a job in the job fair this year, mm -hmm. but um I'll be honing my skills. Uh, I walk a dog right now, so <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I'll keep that going. Mm -hmm. But um, next year, I'll definitely go for a job. I'm not certain what. Pinky, what are you doing this summer, my man? I'm actually also going to work for Kelly Painting this Whoa. summer with Krista. You already started painting. <laughs> yes, sir. You know? So why Kelly Painting? When we were working on the house, I, I didn't realize as much as it goes into it and what I could do. Because, for instance, the walls, like the roof, I didn't realize that they actually splatter stuff onto them to have it that material. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just, it was mixed in with the paint. Mm -mm. Nope. So, yeah, like painting is one of those things that everyone thinks they can paint. And kind of they can, but to really paint well and fast and make money at it, you have to be good, you have to be fast. There's all kind of tips and tricks. Now we're going to go through some trades uh, that I'll share with you in a minute. And I want you guys to uh, tell me who you think would be the best for that trade, which member of the dream team. Just say the first name you think of, and uh, we'll go with it from there. You can be say the same one, different one, whatever. All right? Who would be the best framer? I could see Josh being. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not being biased. That was awesome. Who, who agrees with Tucker that he would be the best at framing? Jacob. I do. I don't know. Look, now look, Which there's team? arrogance and there's confidence. I think you're on the confidence side. That's well, okay. I, I do not want to be arrogant. I, you, I'm I don't, I thought you came me. across great. So you confident. You think you'd be a best Confidence, arrogant. arrogance, whatever okay, you want to so, call it. So it's you, me. would you agree with Tucker? No. <laughs> no. All it's right, me. Who? It's me. It'd be you. It's me. I love confidence it. Confidence or arrogance, I love whatever it. you want to call it. It's me. How about you, Krista? Who's the best? I just said Jacob. <laughs> All right. Pinky. I can see Josh. Jo oh. Appreciate it. Josh. Josh, be biased. Josh. Don't we don't want a three-way split. Toot your horn, bro. Actually, I'm, I'm in the lead right now. So. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love this because we're capturing that let's one back. competition. You've man. had a year of practice. I'm new. I'm Ooh, sorry. Whoa. <laughs> well, whoa, that's... excuses, I'm still better. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, it still doesn't change the fact or what he believes the fact to be, you know? He's in denial. I think you're both great framers that probably Krista could beat that framing. <laughs> Trusses. Everybody. Everybody. Me and Will. You and Will. 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 Yeah, uh, I'd say both Will. Will. Tucker. Tucker. Oh, yeah. Electrical. Jacob. Jacob Wilson. Jacob Wilson. Yep, Jacob Wilson. Jacob Wilson. Taught. Jacob Wilson. Baby face. Baby All face. Right. Close. All right. Plumbing. Plumbing. Jacob. You're looking at him. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob. Ja Jacob. Why Jacob? Because he shows a passion for it. Okay. That's good. That's what he's you doing. You got a passion for something. You forgot. Carpentry. You're looking at him again. <laughs> Justin. Yeah. Sweats. 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 Justin Castro sweats. Carpentry. I think Krista, you were, remember you were struggling with the hammer at first. But man, you 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 bit down and you were to the point, and we started calling you hammer time after that. You know what I mean? He's, so that's, that's, that's I, I my vote would be. That. Krista. I always call it Krista. Flooring. Probably like the greatest trade ever. Riley. Riley. 
All Riley. right. Me and Riley. You and Riley. Because I worked with him a lot. And all right. He understood it. I'll say Riley. Me. Okay. Krista. Riley. 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 My boring no boy. My tile man. Painting. Me. Me. Krista or William. You. Krista or William. Tucker. And Dre. You say you. Dre. It, Dre, he, yeah. he's good. He's good. Yeah. Wait, he's going for with yeah. Kelly Payne too, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Oh yeah, Jacob. You know what's funny is none of my friends you were the friends. most arrogant with what you know selecting yourself. Yes, but you're ironically one of the more humble people in the group. You do this like arrogant thing, but you really don't think you're better than other people. Most of the time, okay, that's good. But about in this you, case, I, mean? I am better than everybody. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so I asked around to different members of the dream team, like four or five of you. I just sent you a text. Who do you think should be the captain of the dream team next year? Every single one said William Tucker. And I kind of agree, right? And I thought, who better to pick the next captain than the existing dream? I mean, of course, I would want to approve of it, but I wasn't surprised that whoever people consistently are choosing, I'm probably going to feel the same way, and, I, and that, that was the case. So a little pop for your boy. He's the captain of the next year. <laughs> Speaking of next year, let's take a moment and find out a little bit more about the property that's been chosen next year for the house and the role that the city of Leesburg will play in that project. We're very excited uh, that we have our lot selected for the Leesburg High School Construction Academy for the next two years. Um, both lots, they're side by side, right on Main Street in the heart of downtown Leesburg. So the city was generous enough to be able to gift those lots to us. A couple of months ago, the City Commission executed an agreement with Habitat and we donated two lots over um, on East Main, across the street from our new public workstation. I think one of the things that we don't do enough in uh, education is promoting the trades and, and how good those positions are and what kind of skill it takes and, and how you can market yourself by being a good person in trades. So to get that skill in high school is great for the kids. And then for the community, we don't have the jobs, we haven't paid attention to the trades, and so there is a shortage of that kind of worker in our workforce. And so for us to be able to train some folks at high school age and have them ready to go, not only helps the kids, but helps the community because it, it gives us that workforce that we need to sustain our service economy. All right, time to wrap it up. I'm very proud of you guys. You guys should all be very proud of yourself. You're doing a great thing and you did it with integrity, with in incredible work ethic and talent. Keep in touch always, Krista, since you're leaving. And uh, let me know how you're doing, and if I can help, let me know. And on that, Don, if you will wrap this up for us, buddy. It's been a great year, and everyone did an amazing job building a dream home for a well-deserving family. Next school year, the dream team will be back to build another house for another well-deserving family. On behalf of all of us at Habitat Academy Season 2, and Romac Building Supply. Thank you for watching. Production support for Habitat Academy 2 is provided by Romac Building and Supply, Habitat for Humanity of Lake and Sumter County, UF Health Leesburg, the City of Leesburg, and is a production of Red Apples Media. Mm -hmm.